Welcome, everybody. This is, God, this is the God's Final Jubilee Program. I'm your host, Evangelist Dan Goodman. Good to have you with us tonight. As you can see behind me, I am out of my uh, normal uh, routine here. We are not in the studio. We are, uh, we are in Maine, the state of Maine. You heard that right. Way up here in the state of Maine, uh, last night where I spent the night, it w we woke, I think it was 56 degrees this morning. And uh, we're loving that. And I'm from Maine originally, some of you that know me. I grew up in Maine, and uh, we come back up here every August, and uh, we just love it up here. So we spent, uh, we're spending a, a week and a half in, uh, oh, Edmonds Township. It's way down by Callis and Machias, Maine. You look that up on the map. Way, we call it Down East Maine. Uh, that's where we're spending some time. My family's with me, my, uh, my son-in-law. Uh, my other son was here, and he, he went back today, but... Um, Many of you are joining via Facebook, welcome. Uh, and those of you on the podcast, welcome to the program. And those of you via YouTube, be sure and uh, subscribe uh, wherever you listen. And uh, that way you'll get an alert and you'll know what's going on. And of course, the Facebook page, if you like the Facebook page, you'll get a heads up about what's going on in the, when I do a live uh, video and things like that. Got some exciting things and important things to share tonight uh, on the program. First of all, I am in Bryant Pond, Maine. That is near Augusta. I think we're about 45, 50 minutes from Augusta, Maine. We're, uh, I don't know, half hour from Lewiston, uh, but way out in the woods out here. It's beautiful, actually. We got here and had supper here tonight. Uh, the pastor is Pastor Matthew Jones. I have not met him in person. We have conversed on Facebook for a number of years. Uh, come to find out, he's got several of my books. He's got my God's Found Jubilee book, as well as um, some other books that I've written. And we converse some, and uh, when he heard I was going to be in Maine, we set this up. So I'll be speaking for him uh, tomorrow morning, which is August the 13th. Today is the 12th of August. Tomorrow morning at 9.15 in the morning, I'll be doing a PowerPoint presentation concerning the coming of the Lord and the Jubilees and the Seven Feast and things like that. Uh, 9.15 in the morning, that's early. So uh, if you happen to be anywhere nearby, maybe you're somewhere near Portland, Maine, maybe you're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, maybe you're in Vermont. Uh, if you're anywhere nearby at all, then uh, swing by and we'd love to, uh, we'd love to meet you, love to uh, hear from you. I'd uh, love to have you here in the, in, the con in, the, in, the, in the meeting with us. At Bryant Pond, real small town. If you find Bryant Pond, you'll find the church because it's right off, in fact, it's right on Highway 26 uh, at Church Street, uh, 116 Church Street. It's on, it's on the Facebook, uh, actually it's on the Facebook page, uh, the information about it. So uh, 116 Church Street in Bryant Pond, Maine, and you can find us. I'll be speaking twice, 9.15 and 10.30 in the morning, and I will be doing some PowerPoint presentations. So, all right, the church phone, if, you, if you'd like to talk to the pastor, if you'd like to get directions, or you'd just like to talk to somebody here, it's 207-665-3133. Now, that's the church. That's not me. Uh, so if you want to talk to me, that's not how you talk to me. So uh, that's the church phone number. All right, now, what's going on in the world? Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, since last night has been rioting in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. Now that's, uh, um, I don't know, is that, is, that, is that by any chance where the Waltons uh, went shopping? Anybody, anybody on Facebook know? Uh, we, got, uh, Vic, uh, we got a few more folks joining here, Katrina and uh, uh, Viter, or Viter, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Uh, anybody out there know, uh, is the Charlottesville, Virginia, is that by any chance where the Waltons were? Remember the Waltons TV show in the 70s? Uh, I don't know, just, uh, uh, that might have been Charlottetown, I don't know. Charlottesville, Virginia, there's uh, uh, some Civil War things, and I guess, as I understand it properly, what, one of the things that started this is they're going to remove General R.G. R. Lee's statue, monument, from the place. Uh, because I guess it's not politically correct anymore. Shame on America. Shame on the, the, the liberals and the wackos in this country. Robert E. Lee is one of the greatest statesmen that ever lived. He's one of the greatest patriots of history that ever lived. It's w well, well known by both sides of the, of the war that he was one of the greatest generals that ever lived. Whether you, regardless what side you find yourself on in, in that battle, 
a great man, and a great man of God, by the way, a great Christian man. Well, they decided they're going to remove that statue, and from what I heard, a, a bunch of patriots gathered there and said, no, you're not going to remove this thing. And uh, you got uh, you got the other side, the liberals are there, and uh, then uh, the, the white nationalists are there, and I don't know all about what they are. I guess they, they seem to think that white people are, are greater than anybody else. But what a bunch of trash that is, huh? And uh, so, but needless to say, uh, it's all breaking out again here in this country, um, you know, because, because we threw God out of this nation a long time ago. And uh, people don't know right and wrong. We've got, no, we got no foundation anymore. We've got no understanding of right and wrong. And, uh, you know, what, what a mess. We need revival. And uh, so that's going on in, in Charlottesville, and uh, here at 8, 8, 8.30 at night on August the 12th, I haven't got on my internet, I haven't looked to see what else has happened, maybe in the last hour, so uh, I don't know if it's still going on, or if they've gone home, I, I do know a car ran into some people, at least one person was killed there, 19 or 20 people taken to the hospital, uh, stupid stuff. And uh, so, you know, there is a time to, uh, to raise up arms. There is a time for that. Uh, I don't think that time is, is here, and uh, I don't think this is the place for that. I am all for defending liberty, and I'm all for defending uh, monuments and things like that, uh, but uh, that's a whole other story here. So, all right, um, so we've got that. What else is going on? We've got North Korea going on, and if you're paying attention to this, now again, Maybe you're out there and you say, look, I, I don't believe this stuff with North Korea. I don't believe North Korea's got a nuke. I don't believe they're going to nuke us. I don't believe this. Uh, okay, you go ahead and hide yourself under a shell. And you go ahead and be in, be in denial. Go ahead. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's well known that North Korea has nuclear capabilities. It's been, that's been known for a long time. <clears throat> it's well known that that place hates us. I mean, he goes on the news uh, whether you think it's fake news or, or real news, the man gets on the news and makes threats to our country, to our grandchildren and our children, and threatening to destroy us. And uh, when that man gets close to capability, something's got to be done about it, my friend. And uh, I think, I think our, our president is going to do it, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Let me tell you something. If that man gets a nuke in the air and blows it up over in the atmosphere above our nation in what's called an EMP, our country will cease to exist as the great nation that it is. We'll become overnight a third world nation. And uh, it won't be pretty, my friend. There'll be millions, you listen to me, there'll be millions of people dead in America in a matter of days and weeks. They'll starve to death. My goodness, no, nobody knows how to plant a garden in this country, except a very few. My wife knows how to plant a garden. But if you haven't planted one yet, it's a little late now. It's going to take months to get something out of that garden. You're going to starve to death. Uh, the average American don't have enough food in his house to last three days. Are, are you listening out there? Three days. Uh, if you've got, uh, you got food for a week, you're doing good. Uh, you ought to have some food in your house, my friend. You ought to have a month's worth of food. Uh, you ought to have more than that. You ought to have some canned goods stashed in. Not, not just for this, but for, uh, for anything. I mean, anything could happen. You ought to be ready. Okay, the Lord may come and rapture us out of here. Okay, so leave the, you leave the food behind for somebody else. Okay, big deal. Be prepared, my friend. The Bible says the, the, the prudent man seeth the evil coming afar off and hideth himself. That's important. Important for you to understand. Keep that in mind. That's a biblical principle. You see, you, you see the storm clouds coming. You, you, you prepare for it. And I really think that that's important. So North Korea is happening. Now, you understand China is their big brother. And a report came out. It's, it is believed, I think it was Eric Barger, but I couldn't have that wrong. But somebody that I know came out with a report. He believes that China is, 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 is the one feeding them the technology and the equipment to build this nuke and to build the, the rocket to put it on. And it's believed by some right now that the man has capability of transporting a small nuclear device over parts of America. Okay, maybe, maybe you don't believe that's possible. Maybe you don't think that's possible. Are you going to wait until it happens and say, well, okay, I guess I was wrong. Well, you know what? It's too late then, isn't it? I think America's got to act. I think Donald Trump has got to act. 
and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, China is yoked in with Korea. You, you got to realize, yeah. Any more an attack on one's an attack on several. Uh, so China and Korea together. Iran. It's believed that Iran is involved with with Korea as well. And uh, so keep your heads up. Things are happening fast, very fast in this country. All right. So we got we got turmoil on our own land with uh, with Virginia. Of course, we got this craziness going on in Washington D.C. and what they call the Beltway. You understand that inside the Beltway, we're talking about the Beltway around, around Washington, D.C. I think it's 495. Inside the Beltway of Washington, D.C. is a different country. Those people don't think like you think. They don't live like you live. They're, they're, they're living on a different planet, different, a different country. Uh, that's the truth. Those people are different in the Beltway. I'm talking about your congressmen. I'm talking about your senators. I'm talking about the Supreme Court justices. I'm talking about the people in the White House. The people in Washington are living in a different dimension than you and I. You need to understand that. They don't look at things the way you look at things. They don't see things the way you see things. And uh, there's things going on there. You've you got a man named, man named Mr. Mueller who's been hired by the government to investigate so-called Russia collusion or some stupid thing. Did you know there's not one shred of evidence pointing to collusion between Donald Trump's administration before he was elected and Russia? Nothing. Do you realize what they're doing is they're looking for evidence? There's, you see, you should have evidence. You should have a crime before, before a special prosecutor is brought in. You remember a man named Richard Nixon way back in the 60s? You remember that a crime was committed? And so what did they do? They hired a special prosecutor to investigate, to find out who committed the crime, bring charges, and you know, all that. You know what they've done in our generation with Donald Trump? There is no crime. There is no evidence of a crime. That's the truth. Even the Democrats have said there is no, I'm wanting to hit the table here, but, but it's going to mess up my other microphone. I'm wanting to hit the table here. I'm mad. There's no evidence. Even the Democrats have admitted there's no evidence, but, but, here, but, but they say, but it's there. We're going to find it. That's not cause. That's not just cause to bring in a special counselor. Do you understand Mr. Mueller? Now, Mr. Mueller is, is basically leans Democrat. Do you know that 15 out of the 16 uh, lawyers that he has hired are all, they've all supported, gave money to, to Hillary Clinton's uh, Democrat you know, uh, race? Isn't that sad? And those are the people that are put there by the Republicans to investigate Donald Trump and his family and all the, the people. What a stinking disaster. Let me, let me say this, if anybody out there is listening in Washington. Uh, Mr. Trump and Mr. Sessions, uh, Attorney General Sessions and the rest of you, end that mess. End that rabbit trail. End that witch hunt. End it tonight. End it. You're going, to, they're going, you're going to destroy our republic with that thing. End it. Send that man home and all his latches and, uh, and all of his uh, lawyer friends. Send them home. End that thing. You say, but the Democrats, it'd be awful. Who cares? It doesn't matter what we do. They, they hate us. You just, we need to stand up and, and do what's right. End that stinking mess. All right, with that in mind, don't forget the new website, godsfinaljubilee.com. A uh, brand new website. We, uh, we transferred our website over to uh, Squarespace. When you open the website, you're going to see a brand new website. You're going to see a brand new look. And I hope you'll visit and take a look. You'll see that uh, there's a book. The bookstore page is up. Everything's up on a bar up on top. You can go straight to the YouTube channel. You can go straight to the brand new podcast channel. This is podcast number three. Uh, that will be posted, and uh, you'll be able to go to the, uh, uh, my, the events page, which is my schedule, my speaking schedule, and we're working on that now. We're going to add some things. Got a lot of things coming up. Uh, I've got a meeting in September up in Niagara Falls. If you're anybody there, uh, September 21st through the 23rd. You're saying, the 23rd, Brother Gary, don't you know we're going to be gone? We might be. Hey, if we are, I, I'm going to go preaching about it. Amen? I'm going to be preaching a prophecy conference up in Niagara Falls, and uh, if, you're, if you're within a few hours of there, you ought to come. We're going to have a good time. And uh, I'll be in North Carolina in October. I'll give you more details about that later. A couple of big meetings down in, in uh, North Carolina that I'll be in in October if we're still here. We've got the, uh, let's see, we've got uh, the, uh, 
uh, August 20, not August, yeah, August 21st, this uh, week, a week from Monday, we got a, uh, uh, we've got the great eclipse coming. Uh, that's going to split the country right down the middle. That'll be interesting. It's going go, to start over there on the Pacific coast uh, with, uh, and hit, come through Washington all the way to Florida. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit a huge uh, fault line right off the uh, coast of Washington and California. The eclipse is going to come right over that fault line. It could be devastating if there's an earthquake out there. By the way, they're expecting one. They're overdue for an earthquake, a big one, off the coast of Washington. It, and California. Then that, that thing is going to come all the way to the Yellowstone. It's going to go right over Yellowstone. And if you don't know what's going on in Yellowstone, <laughs> you're not paying attention. There's hundreds of earthquakes uh, all around Yellowstone. There's a huge volcano under there. Uh, so this thing's going right over that. There are people who believe that uh, full eclipses uh, have a certain gravitational pull and can affect uh, earthquakes, so we'll, we'll see. And then there's God, who may be getting ready to do something. Uh, maybe the rapture is going to happen, maybe it's not. Maybe something else is going to happen, maybe something bad uh, for us. And then that, then that, uh, that, that 70 mile width uh, full uh, solar eclipse is going to keep moving all the way to St. Louis which is the heartland of America, and there's a, a great secret uh, spy organization of the United States government uh, that's being built there right now in St. Louis. It's going to go right over that, and then all the way, by the way, the fault line, the New Madrid fault line is right there, just a few hours from my house, by the way, and, uh, and then it's going to go all the way to Florida. And then seven years later, I think April 9th, it happens all over again, only this time it crisscrosses the other way. It's going to come from... Uh, from uh, California all the way across the country to Maine, where I am right here. And guess where the X is? You know, where the two seven-year eclipses, uh, where, where they meet in the middle, where the two X's come together? Uh, right in St. Louis, Missouri, the heartland. Interesting, huh? I don't know what all that means. Uh, interesting, though. And, of course, uh, a lot of people talk about the Revelation 12 sign. I'd encourage you to get the Prophecy News magazine. It's coming out in September. Uh, you can get it via internet or you can order the magazine and get it in paper form. I wrote an article for the magazine about uh, the Revelation 12 thing. That's not all that I talked about, but that's in there. And I'll be doing a program just about that here pretty soon, but I'm going uh, to give that a little time here. I may wait till the magazine comes out. But I want to share my thoughts on the Revelation 12 thing because I believe... I believe they get some things wrong on that. I, I think the Revelation 12 thing means something. We're talking about the, the constellation Leo and the constellation Virgo. The, they're, they're claiming that, uh, that it's, for, it's the fulfillment of Revelation 12 uh, in the Bible. And uh, where the, uh, the three wonders in heaven, the, the woman, which is Israel, and the, uh, the man-child, and the dragon. They're claiming that that's all happening in the sky on September 23rd. And, uh, and I'm not denying that something very interesting is going to happen that day. Uh, I've got a few problems with their interpretation of Revelation 12.5, though, and I'll share that with you another time. I Personally, I believe the man-child is not the church. I believe the man-child, I'm convinced of it. I believe the man-child is, is Christ himself, and he fulfilled that in Acts chapter 1 when he ascended on high and was caught up into heaven uh, and to the throne. And I've got a lot of reasons why I believe that, not just a few, a lot. And I'll share that with you at a later time. It's, um, uh, some of it's in the magazine. But uh, All right, so now here's one last thing, something exciting coming. Um, and that exciting thing is a, is a new book. I'm working on a new book. Part of what I'm doing up here in Maine is, is a working vacation. I'm actually uh, working on a book. Uh, that I hope to have done by the end of August and possibly ready for, for purchase in the beginning of September. That's my goal. Um, I'm not going to give you the name yet. I'll, I'll put that out here within probably within a week or so. I'll, I'll get everybody the name. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pre-orders. I've got something special for you. Some of you on Facebook might want get to in, get involved in this. It takes a lot of money to pr get a book printed. Yes, we sell the books. Yes, we get that money back, you know, hopefully. But it takes a lot of money up front. It's not, it's not just the cost of the book. It's advertising. It's, it's paying the person who does the cover. It's paying for the artwork. There's all kinds of things that have got to be paid for. And they've got to be paid for up front before you sell a single book. 
Um, so what I usually do is I take pre-orders and I and I sell. I give people a deal on a book, and they buy them before it's done. And then you know a month later they get their book. Uh, but here, here's the deal. I'm going to do something different this time. I think this will be exciting. I'm going to print. I think uh, probably about 50 books as a pre-order special. These will be a little different than the, than the other books that are coming out. These these are going to be. Uh, a special edition. It'd be the same print inside the book. Inside the book would be the same book everybody gets. However, on the cover will be something special. It's going to be a first edition, spe a special edition uh, of, uh, one, uh, of 50. I may do 100, but I'm thinking of just doing 50. Um, in other words, when you open the cover, or on the, on the cover will be a special emblem that says it's a special edition special signature edition. I'm going to sign those first 50 books and they're going to be numbered. Uh, my publishers already told me they can do it. They're going to number one of 50, two of 50, three of 50, and so on. And you will get a signed, uh, in fact I'll put your name in if you want. I'll put two uh, so-and-so, uh, signed uh, Dan Goodwin, uh, Evangelist Dan Goodwin, whatever. Uh, you'll get a signed numbered edition of the book. Nobody else will ever have that. Someone will get number one. Um, what I may do is uh, maybe a special rate for the first ten, uh, one through ten, uh, maybe a, a certain price, and then uh, eleven through fifty, maybe another price for that. So the first ten may be uh, uh, a special price for that. You know, it'll be the book's not going to be worth what you pay. You know, you know that. Uh, it's just a keepsake, something you can put on your shelf, something you can maybe show people and say, "Hey, I've got a special edition of uh, Brother Goodwin's book." And uh, it'll be signed, it'll be numbered, and uh, uh, those of you that get the first, one of the first ten will be a very special, uh, you know, one of, one of fifty, two of fifty, nine of fifty, and, uh, uh, you know, and you'll, you'll pay a, a good price for that, but it'll be something you can cherish, and you'll be helping me, you'll be helping the ministry get these out. And then the other forty... Um, I'm, I'm thinking $100 a piece for the first 10, $50 a piece for the, for the next 40. Uh, it be something nobody else will ever have. You'll have a numbered special edition. There'll be a special emblem on the front cover that won't be on the other books. And uh, so maybe that'll be something you'd be interested in. I'll be sharing that on the Facebook page and on my website here as soon as we get the details of that. And the sooner I can get some people getting involved in this, the better. Uh, you're welcome, uh, those of you that are hearing this for the first time, you're hearing this before anybody else uh, on Facebook Live, you're welcome to send me a, a personal message or something. Uh, if you want to be one of the first ten, let me know and I'll uh, try to get you down. I'll try. If, uh, if you want to be one of the, you know, the first ten will be 100 bucks a piece, the, the next 40 will be 50 bucks a piece. Um, you can even use the donate page uh, on my website, donate the money and uh, just make sure you get me your name and your address and all that, and make sure I make sure I've got you down, uh, so that I don't get more than I'm supposed to have. I can only have the 50. So, uh, and I'll, tr I'll I'll do my best to get the first 10 as soon as I can. The first 10 will will put you down, uh, but that'll be a big help, a huge help to me financially to get the book going. It's going to be an exciting book. Uh, I'm anxious to tell you the title. Um, it's going to have something to do with the mystery, I'll, I'll tell you that. It's going to have something to do with Jubilee and a whole bunch of other things. It's going to be a powerful book. A lot of the information in the Jubilee book will be in it. A lot of the, uh, the, the Barley Harvest book, the things that are needed in there will be in it. Uh, it'll be a little bit different written, but uh, it's going to be a tremendously important book. So, all right, well, I've gone longer than I planned, I think. Uh, don't forget the, the website, godsfinaljubilee.com. And those of you on Facebook, stay here because as soon as my wife turns the camera off, we're going to uh, join you. So you'll listen to the God's Found Jubilee program via podcast or maybe you're listening on the YouTube channel. Be sure and subscribe and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next time.